Big the third exit po tayo. I print my notes on my Muji paper in my study with me video so I'm gonna show you today how okay first you have to determine how your printer <laughs> prints wow <laughs> cuz um, sometimes different yung orientation no pagpi print okay for my printer this is how it works and if you're wondering what's my printer, it's the HP Ink Tank 115. Okay, so pag ko ng paper sa paper tray, it has to be like this. Okay, there. It has to be like that. And then, it has to be like that. Okay, so before, I used to print my chances or my reviewers single page lang like that one lang so hindi ako nagpe-print sa likod but then um my other friend Danny she prints it ng back to back so i tried it out and then it turned out na it's not bothering naman pala because i don't like this one yung makikita mo yung shadow ng print in front but it turned out to be okay and mas tipid siya and mas mamaximize mo yung pag use ng paper okay so i'm gonna show you how i print my notes okay so for the night this is what i'm going to print so since um i always print naman meron na akong settings for um when I'm printing some Muji paper. So, this one, just. So, yung settings niya is, yung paper size is B5. Sa paper type and quality, so plain paper, and then yung quality niya is nakaset to best. Well, it's okay din naman if you print it with just normal quality, but I just like it best because I deserve the best. And then, don't forget to scale to fit and see the difference. So, pag mas madami yung pages na ipiprint ko, I um, go for Adobe because it's easier. So, I'll just put one and three first since I'm gonna print it back to back. So, the second page I will be printing using the first paper. And then here, sa printer, ganyan, just lang din ulit. Then, it's gonna print based dun sa settings na just. But, since it's just three pages, I'll just manually print it or like click it. So, I'm gonna put two papers lang. 
since that's just what I need. So now I'm gonna use the back page of this to print the page too. By the way, just to put it out there, this is not my original idea. I actually learned this from Sophie Concha. So you can check out her channel. Her channel is really nice. I love all of her videos. So yeah, please, I'm asking you to go over her channel and watch her videos right now. Alright, let's talk while I fix my stuff. Right now, I am getting ready to study for my exam tomorrow in immuno and serology subject. There's one thing that I'm excited about tomorrow because for tomorrow, tomorrow is our laboratory day. So we have lab in IS, immunocera, and then hematology. And I'm excited to have our lab for IS because we are going to use the ELISA. If you're a pre-med student, I bet you know ELISA. ELISA stands for Enzyme-Linked Immunosorbent Assay. I'm gonna document it naman tomorrow so you'll see how it works. Anyway, yun lang pala yung share ko. I'm just excited to use the ELISA tomorrow because it's ELISA. We're actually the first batch to use it. So...
Today it's Friday and um, we have two exams for today, one written exam and then one practical exam. And it's 8 o'clock and I haven't studied for anything but now I'm off to Starbucks to study. And I hope I'll be able to memorize it all. Answer Andrew Jen, I think last